hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have some goodies I did a haul um, for January kind of as a treat to myself for my birthday but also just because there were things I needed <laughs> so when I had kind of gone over my New Year's resolutions and goals and also a few um, color and chats a few of you had mentioned you actually like haul videos I haven't done many haul videos on my channel and that's just because I didn't think people were really into them but um it, since some quite a few of you actually said you like those I thought well you know what then I will start doing that so here is January's haul let's start with the books since they're in the way so this one is actually a gift that was given to me by my son. It's The Night Voyage by Daria Song. And it's kind of special to me that he got this because I've had this on my wish list for quite a while now. And I mean, considering I have like a whole bookshelf of adult coloring books, I was amazed that he was able to pick one out that I didn't have and it was one that I wanted. So she has a few other coloring books uh, like The Time Chamber and, um, oh I can't think of the other one right now, but they're all really cute pictures. Um, this, oh, it opened right to my favorite. I can't wait to color this one. Her coloring style is pretty unique, but they're all like really fun and they tell a story. So. You've probably seen a few of her books, and you might have even seen this book, like, on other channels. They are pretty popular. But, yeah, I, I have wanted this one for a while. This double-page spread would look pretty fun. Oops, stuff falling over. Um, so, I'm pretty excited that I got this one. And it incorporates a few elements from her other books, like the clock, the clocks and the gears were in a few of the other ones. But it's just an adorable book. I mean, look at all this stuff to color. I've seen some people do, like, amazing things in this book. I'm not going to flip through, like, every page, but just to give you an idea. So, yes, that was um, one of the books. This is the one I didn't buy. Everything else I'll show you today I have bought. But that was my birthday present from my son, and I thought that was so cute. Okay. So, the first book I bought for January was Tattoo Darlings. Uh, this was one of the few Hannah Lynn books left for me to buy. I think I still have her Mermaid Kawaii Girl one. I think that's all that I have left right now. This one I had been kind of on the fence about until I had seen some people do work in it. That one's pretty popular. And they're pretty cute. I mean, they're all Hannah Lynn style, but now they have tattoos. Some of them are like super busy, but oh, gosh, I can't wait to color that hair. Ooh, so fun. But yeah, they're just edgy. They're they're kind of a deviation from her, you know, whimsical mermaids and fairies. But you still have fairies in here with tats. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. But they are... I. I have to say, like, they're all a little sexier. Uh, they're not, like, all cute and adorable. They're definitely more adultish, but nothing, like, you know, racy or anything like that. It's still PG. But, yeah, these are all really cute. Oh, that one. It's pretty adorable. But I can't wait to color in this. I just wish the paper, for the ones you buy on Amazon, I wish they didn't have this create space. I had seen a video where someone said the paper was better. I will give credit, it is it does feel a little thicker, but bottom line, it is still printer paper. So Prisma Colors, Arteza's, Black Widow's, they all color okay on this. But if you want to use like your nicer pencils, you definitely have to scan and print these on better paper. You can buy one thing I was going to do was buy all her PDF versions and then just print the pages I wanted to work on. But I had already purchased so many of the hard copy books that I didn't want to go back and buy the PDF ones. I just will go through and scan them. But if you haven't 
bought them and the, pa uh, the paper is an issue, I'd recommend going on her Etsy and buying the PDF version so that you can just straight up print what you want. Unless you want an actual book, that's an option. Um, she also has her artist editions on Etsy. And those cost a lot more, but it's they're pre-printed on better paper and they're spiral bound and all that. So, just considerations. Alright, I bought the Wish You Were Here book, that new one from Teresa Goodridge. Super excited. Uh, I love Creative Haven, and there's a tag going for this year for Creative Haven. I think it's like Get Your Haven On. Um, and I can't remember who is hosting it off the top of my head, but I'd been meaning to buy this one, and I finally did. So when it comes to Creative Haven books, most of the ones I buy are from Teresa Goodridge. I love her artwork. So charming. Oh, look at that one. That is going to be so fun to color. Uh, and this one's kind of just, you know, around the world. It's so pretty. This one will actually be pretty fun, too. Sometimes they're a little intimidating. <laughs> this one, I swear this picture is in her summer book. I could be losing my mind, but the I get like a deja vu moment when I see that. Yeah, see, isn't that adorable? Ooh, that looks fun, too. Pesos. You can see they're all, like, here's the safari. Yeah, these will be fun to do. I can't wait. So just those three books. I've kind of slowed down on book buying because I have shelves and shelves of books and a lot of those books I haven't colored. <laughs> so I am actually going to make a video this month or next of my entire book collection and then I plan to actually make a separate video of what I'm going to call my list of shame. And those are all books that I own that I have not colored a single page in. Okay, so I did a huge Blick order and bought a bunch of spares. And I'm not going to go through these. They're just all my Prisma colors. But I like to order from Blick. Oops. Uh, if you order 12 of the same color, it's like a dollar 12 it goes down to. And then um, it's like a dollar 40 something uh, if you just buy them individual. I never buy 12 of each uh, except white and black. Those are about the only ones I can safely buy 12 of. The others I don't. What I do though is I have like a checklist of Prisma colors. And I always try to make sure I have three in stock because sometimes I've actually had pictures where I've gone through like two pencils on that page. But it's usually like a huge double page spread that's pretty intricate. And it's just because I'm a lot more heavy handed with my Prismacolors and when I'm lazy and I don't feel like using my doll. With Prismacolors, I will use my battery sharpener or my electric one. <laughs> it's just because they're so cheap to replace that I'm like, eh. So, so yeah, in my Blick order this month, I restocked and got a bunch of colors. One, I was down to zero. I had no spares, and I normally never do that. Uh, another thing in this haul was I was restocking my Posca pens. I just did those on Blick Arts as well. This is the three or the 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter, and then I got a 1.8 to 2.5. So they're different sizes. I ha still have some of my little Posca. I wonder if I have it nearby. No, I don't. But I was I totally ran out because of all the Christmas pictures and like doing snow. I ran out of these two. So I was like, oops, gotta buy those. Okay, and then I got the Distress Sprayer. You know, I was kind of not going to buy this at first. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but when you use Distress Inks, you spray it with some water and then you kind of blot it up with a towel or paper towel and it changes and makes this effect. And I was just going to use a normal spray bottle, but this one kind of releases the water differently 
so it actually gives you that effect. I've tried to mimic it with other just generic $1 spray bottles and I couldn't uh, quite get it. So it's like, fine, you win, Ranger. I will buy your sprayer. And it is super flimsy. <laughs> just when I got it, I was like, man, it's really flimsy. This thing better not break on me or I'm gonna be really mad. But I did buy it and there it is. All right. Next, I bought some pan pastels. So these are the soft artist pastels. You've probably seen them used on other channels, especially for skin. I actually have the Skin Tone palette and you can buy these in sets. They come in like five packs, uh, 10 packs. They also come in like 20 packs or you can buy them open stock and individually. Initially, I was going to buy like the 10 packs and five packs. Um, in fact, I think they have three packs and they kind of are themed like, so one was um, blues and it had all the blue shades. I was gonna do that, but I wanted, I don't know if I want all of the colors. So like those bigger packs that are like 80 bucks for 20, I was thinking to myself, you know, I, I don't know if I would use all of those colors. There's only certain ones I want. Outside of the skin tone, my primary goal with these is to use them more for backgrounds, kind of like I do with Distress Ink. So I decided to buy these ones open stock rather than buy a set. Um, these didn't come in any of the smaller sets, so I did have to buy them open stock, which you can do on Blick Arts. And if you are going to go through Blick Arts for them, I just go through Blick Arts because it's easier for me and they carry everything I want. But I, recu I totally recommend getting like Rakuten and Honey. So Rakuten has cash back offers. So I always get cash back every time I order from Blick. And Blick does occasionally have coupon codes. But Honey will sometimes have coupon codes that work and you can get, you know, discounts. I think these were like five something each, five and some change, but I got the magenta, which is this one, and then this one is magenta shade, so it's the darker, and I know I got magenta tint, yep, magenta tint is this one here. If you're not familiar with pan pastels, they have the color, the tint, and then the shade. So it's like a three, you know, and the, so the tint is always the lightest, shade is always the darkest, and then you have your color. And then for these two ones, I have my violet shade and my violet tint. Um, I didn't get violet because they were out of stock. <laughs> so I do need to get the one that goes right here. It's kind of a bright purple, kind of how this pink is bright. It's, just kind of similar to that. But these two will still work really well and I just finished a picture that I think I'm gonna use these two on to create a background and I may do it as a tutorial. So yeah, you can buy these open stock or in the packs. Um, if you're gonna buy them in the pack route, they're actually cheaper on Amazon most of the time. Occasionally, Blick Arts is cheaper. It just depends on the Amazon price fluctuation. So I would just keep an eye on it. Or you can do what I did, go to Blick Arts and just buy the ones you actually want open stock. Um, one morning is that some of the five and 10 packs all include titanium white. So if you were to go buy those, you would end up with a ton of titanium white, which is fine if you want a bunch of white, but um, I had noticed that. They do, however, the packs come with the tools, so you'll get like some extra sponges and that. So I need to still buy some more of those separately, which you can do also. All right, this is my favorite purchase, and you're probably thinking, seriously, that's your favorite? But one, I love mandalas, and I was looking for a pouch that would hold my glitter gel pens that I use for journaling. So you know I love mandalas, you know I love glitter gel pens for mandalas, but I like to buy more expensive glitter gel pens for journaling. Every morning 
I sit down with a cup of coffee and I write in my journal and it has to be a glitter gel pen but I don't use the ones I use for coloring. The ones I use for coloring are budget friendly and I use those because I go through them so much. For journaling I don't have that issue. So I bought or found this pouch on Amazon and it was super cheap. It was under 10 bucks and it is so adorable with like the mandala and everything because before I would keep the gel pens just in the manufacturer's packaging. With that said, I thought, hey, new year, new journal, because I started a new journal. I would buy some new pens for my journaling. And these were all bought for January too. So yes, they all go in this little pouch for my journaling. And what I ended up buying was there is a pack of Arteza glitter gel pens that look like jelly rolls. They don't pop up right away on Amazon. They're like hiding. I just stumbled across them. They're called super glitter. Uh, I don't know about that, but they are very glittery, but they're almost more metallic-ish. And you do get a pretty good range of colors. Um, and the, the flow is awesome. These are 1.0 millime millimeter, which is what I like. I like fat, juicy gel pens for my journaling. <laughs> I got a thing with that. Um, so here's all the ones that come in that Arteza set. Let me get those ones out of the way. All right. So you can tell that some are used. The reason being is I started using these while I was waiting on my Blick order that took for freaking ever to show up. <laughs> so there was that but yeah I will link these in the description below awesome pens um, my only gripe with them is this they all look very similar don't they hmm. and when you swatch them they aren't that much different they are different but not by much watch I'll show you So that's like a red, and that's a red, do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> and then this one is kind of like a red-orange, so it's really hard to see, and I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but that's the true red, that's like a reddish-orange and that one's a reddish orange too. These two are almost identical. Like I barely see the difference. Like if I hold it up to the right light, this one's slightly darker, but that's it. And I don't even know if the camera catches the glitter. Might not be a big enough sample. Maybe. Either way, that was my only gripe with those, uh, were these three here were awfully close to one another. Um, these two oranges, are not. This one's more of a brownish autumn orange and this is a bright orange. But and the blues aren't close either. They're actually very different. So yeah, good selection. Uh, they just have more of a metallic-y finish, but they are very glittery. I just think super glitter is kind of going a little overboard. But I love using these so much. Uh, they're cheaper than jelly rolls, that's for darn sure and they have the width that I like and I haven't had any flow issues at all. So I'm loving these. Put those back in this pouch. All right, and then I bought a pack of Jelly Roll Stardust. FYI, the Stardust is their glitter gel pens. So I bought this pack of them because I haven't used Jelly Rolls in a while just because they were always so expensive, but I decided for the new year and month, I wanted to buy some again for my journaling. I, I won't color with these because on my own. Uh -uh. These go too quickly to justify the price. And this package came with a pretty good assortment. Like I have a dark green, dark blue, light blue, medium, you know, bluish. Only one purple. I've got two pinks in there. Um, this is my red, but it's more orangey, but it's still a good selection, and it's Jelly Roll. However, these are supposed to be one millimeter, and they aren't as uh, 
juicy as the Arteza ones. So that was kind of interesting. Um, but they still are the same, like, classic jelly roll, you know, perfect flow, like, zero issues. The colors are all really pretty. And they don't drain as quickly as the Arteza ones. That said, this cost way more than the Arteza ones, so I could get two packs of those Artezas for the pack of this. But these were still super cute. And I, oh, I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> the Arteza set came with a silver and a, a gold, but I removed them from the set. So before I forget, these all came with the Arteza too. Only reason I removed them is silver, gold, and kind of a bronzish. They don't work really well for writing, but they'll work really well accenting my coloring pages. So I pulled them out of the set and put them off to the side. So it actually came with those, I forgot to show you. But yeah, so I got these all for my journaling and they go in this freaking adorable case that I love. See, it just zips up. It even has a little thing if you wanna hook it, but holds all my gel pens. I don't think you could use this for pencils. No, you could, they would fit. Huh. Seems like they wouldn't, but yeah, this is a good case. I know some people like to buy like the little cases and that's what they keep their pencils in, you know, when they're working on a project. I put mine on these old trays from my Prismacolor, but um, I know a lot of people like to use these. I just like these for my journaling and then it just sits there with my journal. So yeah, that is all I got. It's not a very large haul. Um, I've kind of toned it down because I really honestly own most of everything I've wanted to collect. <laughs> so I haven't had a need to buy a whole bunch. I am, however, going to start buying more of these. Uh, blues are next on my list. I just don't think I'm going to buy the blue pack. I'm going to buy them kind of the same way I did here and just keep buying them open stock as the need comes, kind of like I did with my Distress Inks. But if you have any questions about the things I bought or where I buy them, honestly, like I said, the two places I primarily shop are Blick Arts and Amazon. Occasionally I will use Jerry's Artorama and Joe's Cheap Art when they have better pricing. But Blick tends to be cheaper than both of them and doesn't, um, I always end up with free shipping with Blick because I order enough. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I wish I had more to show. I probably will have a bigger haul for February just because I will be buying more pan pastels and there are a few other things coming out that I want to get. March will be even bigger, though, because a ton of coloring books I have on pre-order release that month. <laughs> so March's will be a lot more exciting. But thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, happy coloring.